Hi, in this video we want to talk about um, manually formatting the text or using styles. So let's see how we format this text manually. Um, for example, we select this text and we say I want bold, I want 16, I want this to be, I don't know, 14, bold and italic and this one and also for these two I want um, maybe Carlito also for the paragraph I want to be uh, Carlito again and maybe I want some other changes I have to right click paragraph um, for example, if the first line is one centimeter, I press OK. After that, I don't like that I don't have uh, justify. I select again the text. I say I want paragraph to be um, justify. And if I have hundred of pages, if I am changing somewhere, I have to change everywhere. So let's see how we can do that easier using styles. So let's undo. Now let's see. Let's create, um, let's uh, use very easy uh, existing styles, but changing them. For example, for this title, I want to use title style. For subtitle, I want subtitle. And for the text, let's select all the text. I want to be body text. Now I don't like how the project is looking, so let's change everything. We change the title and we want the font to be Carlito. And we want to be um, 16. and uh, left align, so let's change. So no, no, let's keep a center. Subtitle, I want to be the same, Carlito, uh, 14, left align. Okay, and for body text, I selected that to be body text. I want again to be Carlito and I want to be again uh, justify. So this is what I have and I want to be bold. I forgot to change font, it's bold. Okay. Now what we can do more, um, after a title, every time I have a subtitle and after a subtitle I have body text. So let's specify that after a title in the general tab I have a subtitle. After each subtitle in the, in the general I have body text, it's correct. So now let's see how easy it is. Uh, let's activate a new tool that we have in LibreOffice, Spotlight. So with this, we can see um, we have some styles and on the left we have the style we have used. So it's four for title, you can see here. It's three for subtitle and it's one for body text. Now, if I press enter, I have a body text, but I want here to be a title. So let's write another title. Let's apply title. What I want is a new title to be on a new page. So let's specify that. Edit this style, title, text flow, insert a page before with default page style, apply. Okay, so now the first uh, chapter is 
on the new page and the second chapter is on the next page every time we open a new chapter. If I press enter, you can see we have style free, which is subtitle. Another subtitle. If I press enter, I have body, uh, body text. It's easier, for example, if I want now the second subtitle, okay, and we specify that it's a subtitle, after pressing enter, like usually, after a subtitle we have a body text. This way it's very easy to, to see what we we have in the project it's very easy to personalize and for example if i want to change i want here one centimeter for the first line it's very easy uh, we have many chapters but we specify once that i want um, first line to be one centimeter or maybe i want here to be um, line spacing double apply you can see all my project is like that. I don't have to do uh, manually selecting every paragraph in the project to say change here or change there. Everything is like I wanted. If I want this to be double, I select here, title, edit. And I want, for example, here to have, I don't know, double, apply. Okay, let's see. Here I have double, the same in the first chapter. So it's very easy to use uh, everywhere. Uh, for example, if I don't want to the body text to be justify, no problem. Alignment, I want to be left can see it's left all the chapters are the same left align I don't have to select this part stop here and click on justify click on left align and do that for each uh, paragraph another tool we have uh, for analyzing the text for example let's suppose here by mistake, I press italic. And by mistake here, I press another font. But I want my project to be professional. Uh, what tools I have to analyze my project? Let's see in format, spotlight. We have paragraph styles here. You can see I activate it from here. But we can activate also character direct formatting and character styles. So let's see what we have. We can see here that we have something change and we have a tool style inspector. We can analyze what we have changed. It's another style named acar. So we can select that area and press here clear direct formatting now everything is fine if i don't want to have italic here it's a mistake i select all this area or maybe just that area and press clear direct formatting or for example uh, if i am in styles let's see all styles and by mistake here, I press, um, I don't know, definition. No, I don't want that. I want uh, here, end note. You can see my project is looking strange. If I go here, applied styles, I can see that I have some styles. What I want, I want to have title, subtitle, and body text. So something is strange. So let's analyze where I have end note. I have here style 2 end note. 
I don't want that. I want to be a bad juxt. So it's correct. What is here? I don't want that. I can go to here, character styles. I don't want any character style applied. So these tools are very useful to have a clean project, easy to maintain, and also very professional uh, when working with things that have to look the same. Let's change body text to look much better. So let's use this one. above paragraph a little bit and maybe justify and this is how I, our project is looking let's disable that uh, format spotlight I don't want any spotlight the project is final now let's preview it's looking good what I don't like, for example, uh, I don't want this space below that. So let's see. Subtitle, edit. I want below zero and above I want more space and I don't want to double. Now everything looks much better. And we have used styles. It's very easy. For example, now let's insert another chapter. Third chapter. I specify it's a title. Move, it move on another page. If I press enter, it knows that it's a subtitle. If I press enter, it knows it's a body text. Very, very easy. So this is version again, 24.8 from 2024 uh, August. And thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.